wait, 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 listen to me, this is how easy it is to arrest someone, why isn't Letitia James arresting the police officer, tell the attorney general to arrest the police officer, don't grab me hard pussy, cause without this badge you ain't shit, I'm 375, if I didn't wanna go, you wouldn't take me, alright, give me a favor, white shirt, white shirt, and expect nothing to happen. You cannot crush a man's skull and expect to get away with it. Tell the Attorney General, no more. No more. Well, 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 what do we have here? Hawk Newsom. Y'all remember that guy from Black Lives Matter? Hawk Newsom. He's a founder and co-chair up there in New York. Remember him? Yeah. This guy is a troublemaker, bro. In trouble with the law constantly. Like, what kind of man is this? I don't understand. Like, you going out. Do you have any kids? Because if you're going out getting yourself in trouble like this, you must probably don't have any children. These guys are very immature. Um, but uh, this is a prime example of, like, you, 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 you're, trying to, you're trying to spark something and get something going when it ain't really about nothing. What they call them? Martin Luther Cream Puffs. Like, you know, Talcum X. <laughs> you know, these fake movements. They're not real movements. A real movement would look something like this, Hawk Newsom. A real movement, uh, if you were going to do it state to state in the black communities, the very first thing, I mean, you can call me crazy, but the very first thing I think you should be doing is getting that crime cleaned up. That, that's, what, that's what I would be focused on if you want to get some strong people together and you wanted to save a community or something. You know, because the white boogeyman, he's not doing all the, the whacking, all right? He's not doing all the... Black on black crime. It's, just, it's, not the, it's not the white man and the Ku Klux Klan and white sheets. It's not them, bro. So that's how you know somebody's movement is absolutely fake. All right, but these people still trying to make some noise. You know, they're still trying to be in the hood and pretending like they are doing something for the black community. If you don't know what's going on with Black Lives Matter by now and, and they, they're still fooling you and tricking you in 2024, you missed it. You lost. I, I mean, I'm probably not talking to you guys. Uh, you know, you're smart. You listen to my channel. You're absolutely intelligent. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the other people. The other people who still don't get it. Still, you know, they still got the mask on in the store. They're still falling for the shenanigans. They, you know, you know. So, um, yeah, this is when you know your movement is absolutely fake, like I said. So, uh, Hawk Newsom stays in trouble with the law because he doesn't, he doesn't believe in the law. Like, they don't. You know, this is New York we're talking about. They don't believe in the law. Uh, I want you to take a look at this clip because Hawk Newsom is getting himself in some trouble here with Mayor Eric Adams trying to hold a Juneteenth celebration. <laughs> Take a look. Juneteenth standoff in the Bronx. NYPD officers refusing to allow a celebration hosted by Black Lives Matter because the group lacked a proper permit. But the head of the group claims it's a political vendetta against him. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer has the story. An all out show of NYPD might in the Bronx, including the agency's legal team and a drone to monitor things to stop a Juneteenth celebration put together by Black Lives Matter founder Hawk Newsom. The mayor says it's because Newsom is a habitual rule breaker and didn't file for a permit with the local precinct that required 30 days before the event. To submit a permit a day before an event or two days before an event, you're disrespecting the process. And what's more, said the mayor, who was attending a street codenaming for drummer Max Roach, Newsom wanted the mayor to ask the cops for special treatment. The commander denied the permit. He wanted me to overrule the commander and I said no. But Newsom offered another version. This is nothing more than a personal vendetta he knows the election year is coming. 
people do not like him in our community. An irate Newsom and his group vowed to hold the festivities anyway, saying they had hamburgers, hot dogs, and other goodies to feed a neighborhood where he says people are often hungry. All power to the people! All power to the people! But police were having none of Newsom's power play. Cops arrived in the neighborhood. A truck with steel barricades was at the ready in case of a protest. Police even towed Newsom's car, which infuriated him. You can tow my car, but you can't stop this movement. And I guarantee you, a black mayor who stops a black Juneteenth celebration will never get elected again. So you can have the car. You can have the car. This is a direct act of anti-blackness by Mayor Adams. He is ruthlessly ripping away the joy from black children. At the end of the day, the group took its grills into a building where supporters said they could use his porch. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. And city officials said Newsom also failed to get the proper permit last year. Unbelievable. <laughs> what did they do that at? Uh... <laughs> That looked like a real movement to you, huh? That looked like somebody, a civil rights activist. No. <laughs> Even Eric Adams said this guy, for like he, he disrespected the process. All right. He didn't get the permits last year or this year okay, for the Juneteenth celebration. He waited for a day before the event. And then he said <laughs> it was a black attack. <laughs> How delusion do you have to be, bro? Like, what would these people understand has never been about your skin color? Like, it is crazy. It's absolutely crazy. You know, I don't know what the hell to say about these people except they are nuts. <laughs> it said, the woman said, and she was like his role. I was like six people there, okay, for his big event, his extravaganza with the U-Haul truck with the hot dogs and hamburgers in it. Bro, really? <laughs> This is too funny, bro. This man is wild, man. Like they don't, they don't, they just don't get it. You gotta pray for these people because they really don't get it. They just don't understand, bro. It's so full of hate in your heart. Like for the white people, you think that everybody don't like you. How? That's like a disease. Don't nobody want it. I don't want that disease. You know, I think that all white people hate me, and and I gotta tear up my own streets and get locked up. You know, because I'm trying to give people hot dogs and hamburgers. You know, if you were really serious about that, man, if you were about that life, you would have already had the permits. Way in advance. Way in advance. How are you going to blame the police for locking you up when you're belligerent? It's absolutely crazy, man. You know? <sighs> what do you say and what do you do? What do you say and what do you do, man? Um, Guys, don't follow no Black Lives Matter anywhere, all right? Like, these people, their organization is absolutely corrupt, all right? They lied to people, stole all their money, and they didn't do anything for the black community. They used George Floyd's, you know what? to uh you know get a bunch of money and then they bought mansions and they paid their people off I, I didn't see them do anything for the black community all the young children losing their lives i never saw them do anything for them man that's really sad but you know you're making a big fuss because you got six or seven people up there uh when you, you don't even have a permit to do this juneteenth celebration uh, i don't celebrate juneteenth by the way do y'all i don't celebrate no juneteenth man all right, it's just to me, it's just stupid. My opinion, you know, it's, it really is. Um, but guys, let me know what you think in the comments. I think you know, Black Lives Matter uh, is going to become even more and more irrelevant as they get even more and more exposed as the time goes by. Like, share, and subscribe. This has been Yup, I said it. Thank you. <laughs>